I made some stew. It isn't much, but it's hot. What are these looks y'all two keep giving each other? Is it nasty? Not fully cooked? My uncle told me a strange thing. Toss that shit so fast. You just have to turn back around. He was only a small child at the time. Then you must be at least 60. 70? You cannot be 80. How old are you? 87. Holy shit! You are one of the Dunedain. It was said that your race had passed into legend. Was destroyed long ago. I'm sorry. Please eat. No, please, N no, stop, leave. No, no. I did not live to eighty-seven to die of food poisoning. I should don't look fully cooked. Aw, aw. This is a dream. Then it is. Arwen's time is ending. Let her go. Let her take the ship into the west. She stays because she still has hope. She stays for you. She belongs with her people. Shit. Hmm. Magwanatha sin. Manatha hi gwanitha or manuyal archenet. This language is so pretty. It was a dream, Arwen. Nothing more. I don't believe you. It was a gift. Keep it. What is it? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! What the hell is that? Holy shit! What are you? Oh lord! Oh! Okay, time to get out of here. I feel like horses are, they're, they're the ones who are probably dying. What the hell are these things? Like some big ass warthogs? Why do I see horses on the ground? Yeah. Sir? Gimli, what are you doing? Oh, thank you, my guess. You were gonna get killed. Yo, this king, uh, to think he we first met him as some old, decrepit man. Granted, he was possessed, but he out here whooping that Aragorn, get back on your horse! Shh. Okay, then. Ah, don't get stomped on, please, please. Shit. You livid? Did he survive that? Oh, shit. Aragorn, where your ass at? This ain't funny. <laughs> he could swim. He could swim. That man did not survive until eighty-seven to die in the water. How? How can fire do stone? What kind of device could bring down the wall? Evil. It's like, back up, nigga. Back the hell up. It would take a number beyond reckoning. Thousands to storm the keep. Tens of thousands. But my lord, there is no... 
Y'all been out here destroying shit. You're telling me you don't have enough? Good God, they really do have enough. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't, but I kind of had a feeling they... Since the first movie, they've been creating this bitch. They destroyed the entire forest here. Ah! Aragorn! Somebody... Somebody pull him out, please. Someone save him. Stop singing. Save him. Yes, the kiss of life. True love's kiss. Wake up, princess. Let's go. Is this a friendly? Oh. Wake up, nigga. <laughs> it's first of all, let's go. <laughs> if Sauron is defeated and Aragorn made king and all that you hope for comes true, you will still have to taste the bitterness of mortality. And there will be no comfort for you. No comfort to ease the pain of his passing. You will linger on in darkness and in doubt. Until all the world is changed and the long years of your life are utterly spent. And if that is what she so chooses, <laughs> as despair filled as that is, my men tell me that you are orc spies. Spies? Now wait just a minute. Well, if you're not spies, then who are you? Should we tell them about the ring? I don't think they should. He just said if, if it lands in his... Two were my kin. A dwarf there was also, and an elf. And two men. Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and Boromir of Gondor. You're a friend of Boromir? I mean, he dead now, but... Yes. Is my brother. Oh shit. Well, your brother went out like a soldier, I'll tell you that. That nigga did not fall. The arrows they shot Boromir with were massive, and he still stood. I hope you are, you are as half as real as your brother was. We might need you. The city was once the jewel of our kingdom. What? He's here. Oh, one moment of peace cannot give us that. Where is my firstborn? Father! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're not on good terms with Papa Bear. Were you not entrusted to protect it? I would have done, but our numbers were too few. Always you cast a poor reflection on me. Dude! You give him no credit, and yet he tries to do your work. Mm. Elrond of Rivendell has called a meeting. He will not say why, but I have guessed its purpose. Oh, so this is what happened, but let him... You must go. Bring me back this mighty gift. Shit. My place is here with my people. And he didn't even want to go. His father just wanted the ring for himself. Remember today, little brother. Hmm. I wish I've gotten this little expose on Bormir prior to his death. <laughs> Maybe I would have been more sympathetic. I feel like I dragged the shit out of Bormir in the first movie. <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad for the brother. We found the third one. You mean we have... Smeagol? Y'all found Smeagol? Oh my god, no! Smeagol, no! Oh my god, can y'all not- Can y'all not? He look, he's gross looking, but y'all gotta beat him up. Oh my god! That's enough. You sick sons of bitches! I hope you die. Smeagol. Oh, y'all brought Gollum back. Great. See, that's what y'all- Oh, lovely. Look what y'all done did. Precious. 
Y'all just had to wake Gollum up, huh? They just had to wake Gollum up. Y'all, Smeagol just wanted to fish. Eat his little stupid fish. Y'all just had to ring, Mr. Frodo. What? Just this once. The Frodo ain't Good doing enough. too well with this damn ring. He'll need to be wearing it. No, that's too risky. He's been... Mm -mm. Get out of the way! I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Bless you, laddie. Aww. Abdolens. Aww. You knew? You look terrible. Ten thousand strong at least. How many? Just call it a sea of evil coming for you. Ten thousand? Yeah, it's a it shit ton. bread for a single purpose. Kill all of us! <laughs> they will be here by nightfall. <laughs> well... Let them come. Let them come! Y'all gonna get f***ed up! <laughs> Did you hear this, uh, sir? A sea of evil is coming! No army has ever breached the deeping wall. Oh, they're gonna breach tonight. This is no rabble of mindless orcs. These are Urukai. Their armor is thick and their shields broad. Broad. I have fought for many wars, it. Master Dwarf. We will outlast them. They do not come to destroy Rohan's crops or villages. They come to destroy his people. Down to the last child. Look at my men. Courage hangs by a thread. If this is to be our end, and I would have them make such an end as to be worthy of remembrance. Who's gonna remember if y'all dead? Who's remembering? Remember Rince? You must call for aid. Aid from who and at this point? Come. Yeah, I was about to say, wait, wait, aid from who? No, my lord Aragorn. We are alone. At least try. You never know. Sir, you are literally like hanging on by a thread. Y'all people are about to get ran through. You can at least try. Try. You never know. They could come to aid. Oh, look at that. The crows are already getting ready to feast on your corpses. The, the crows know they're about to die. But now something is about to happen that has not happened. I love the animation on this little tree creature. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, other other tree creatures. Are you are you are you other ents? Do you come in peace? Now we must decide if the ants will go to war. Oh yes, join the war. Help us. Everyone come together like we saw in the beginning of the move, the first movie where everyone band together. Come on, Elrond, you were out there the first time too. Join in. <laughs> Aragorn! I'm to be sent with the women into the caves. That is an honorable charge. To mind the children, to find food and bedding when the men return. Time may come for valor without me. Who then will your people look to in the last defense? You do not command the others to stay. They fight beside you because they would not be parted from you. Because they love you. Are you about to confess your love to this man? Please no. I'm sorry. That's 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 awkward. That's awkward. <laughs> Like, oh god, what do you what do you do? What do you do? It's awkward. It's very awkward. Aww. Listen, if if this goes the way I think it will, you will have your chance to fight. Look at them. They're frightened. Nele Terain. Dan Karmunik. Tiberia Farhun. Amar Nane de Dorat. Not the Dagathire. Then I shall die as one of them. You just exposed our conversation, sir. He spoke Elvish so no one could understand. <laughs> to wield a sword has been sent to the armory. Damn, that's bright. You are our king, 
sire. Yeah, but you might get us killed. But I get why he's doing it. I get his lack of and faith. You trust your king. I don't know about all that. <laughs> we'll follow you to whatever end. For better or for worse. To whatever end. You can at least try to call for help. I understand he believes he no one will come, and that's a valid feeling. And and and. But still, at least try. Yeah, what are they? How do they deliberate? They just sway? They sway like Groots. They just sway like Groots, I swear. It's been going for hours. They must have decided something by now. No. We only just finished saying good morning. What? Um... <laughs> We have trusted you this far. You have not led us astray. I still think we're gonna die, but you know, I'm I'm arrived with you. I was wrong to despair. No, I think it was. He was... Yeah, I, I feel like that was real. That was an honest moment of frustration. I might get this adjusted. Why so big? Help! Has help arrived? Send for the king. The elves? Did Elrond show up? An alliance once existed between elves and men. We come to honor that allegiance. We are proud to fight alongside men once more. How many y'all brought? Because <laughs> we had 300. <laughs> we got 10,000 coming our way. And we have like some tree creatures deliberating right now whether or not to join the fight. It's gonna take them all to the side. <laughs> Kill them with extreme prejudice is all I'm hearing. <laughs> oh god, Master Orkai. Why they gotta look so nasty? <laughs> oh baby, look at your cheeks. Oh my goodness, the cheeks. Aragorn, you must fight for the cheeks. Not those cheeks, the baby cheeks, the little cute cheeks. <laughs> Go. Keep shooting. Yep, keep shooting. Do we have enough arrows? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, they're firing back. Oh my god, they fire back too. Some got the they have water supply. Do we have fire or something? Can you burn the Oh my god. Um we got hammers to like swing them off as they come over. Oh shit, they're breaching the wall. Oh my god, this went that shit so damn fast. Good. Good. I'm on 17! Oh damn! So oh, right in the nuts. Do they have nuts? God, I hope not. I would hate for these things to be able to reproduce. Y'all ah, keeping score. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm not. I feel like we're gonna lose this. And those tree creatures are still deliberating out there. They're saying good morning. Imagine. Can they burn their ladders? Are their ladders made out of wood? Burn it. Hurry up, tree creatures. Oh god, what if they say no? Mary. Say yes, please. Please don't be on the f shit. We have just agreed. Agreed to help? Oh, shit. Y'all got anything that can stop that coming up at the side? Is this it? 
Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Can you not? Shut up. You know, just for that, I hope you die. Why would you say that? You got elderly people and children out here fighting. Oh shit. Freaking long tongue. Told y'all you should have killed him out there, but no, we showed mercy. He told him where the weak spot is at that gate. Legolas of all the times, this is not the time. Oh my, oh my God, a Boromir spirit is in that nigga. He took, well, he only took two arrows, but he kept going great. Yeah, yeah, see, uh huh. We just have to talk shit. God damn. Warm tongue just had to give up that information. Y'all just had to let that traitorous, nasty, pale looking bitch live. Yes. Thanks. Cannot hold back this storm. We must weather such things as we have always done. Yeah, Charlie about to blow. Not our war. But you're part of this world, aren't you? You must help, please. If they don't say yes, I would... I'd be so petty and I'd burn you bitches down. Your part in this tale is over. Go back to your home. There's not gonna be anything left of his home eventually. Okay, see, this is why I couldn't ever be in this situation because I would get some stick, some dry kindle, and start rubbing and blowing. And I'd burn your shit down. In spite. We've got the Shire. Not for long! Maybe we should go home. You know, I'm pretty sure we saw a, 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 a vision of the Shire going the down. Fires of Isengard will spread. Mm-hmm. And the woods of Tukbro and Buckland will burn. Speak truth, Charlie. And all that was once green and good in this world will be gone. There won't be a Shire, Pippin. Speak truth, Charlie. I know his name is Mary, but you will always be Charlie from Lost, so you know. What is a girl to do but call you by your true name, which is Charlie? Yes, thank you. Keep the ginger safe. Oh, he's gonna die. I knew it. Did he just split him? Was that at the back of his head he hit? Okay, it was the back of his... Oh god, I thought... I really thought they split that man's dome. Shit. Don't tell the elf. Not a word. Oh shit. Climb up sometimes and they tickle me awfully. They're always trying to get somewhere with it. Oh. Oh shit. Many of these trees were my friends. Yawn pissed off the trees. Look, the trees! They're moving! Oh, it was a. Oh my goodness! Ooh. It's like Annie when she screamed for all them damn titans! They have business with the orb. We got reinforcements! Trees are coming! Business is with Isengard tonight with a rock and stone. Like, bitch, I'm gonna toss a rock and a stone at your big ass head for doing this to the trees. Is it just war everywhere in Middle-earth? 
You want to know what happened to Boromir? You want to know why your brother died? He tried to take the ring from Frodo after swearing an oath to protect him. Your brother, Matt! Watch out! Oh, shit! Yeah, big ass rock. Can we get out of here? You know, somehow I don't blame Faranir as much as I blame his daddy. And it's this dragon riding wraith. The fortress is taken. It is over. You said this fortress would never fall while your men defend it. There's no other way for the women and children to get out of the caves. Hello, answer. Oh my god. Useless ass bitches. Send word for the women and children to make for the mountain pass and barricade the entrance. So much death. What can men do against such reckless hate? Shut up. Don't piss me off. Ride out and meet them. For death and glory. For Rohan. The sun is rising. Is Gandalf gonna show up with his bright white light from the east? The horn of Helm Hammerhand shall sound in the deep one last time. Okay, King, you no longer piss me off. When we draw swords together. Okay. You redeemed yourself. You're pissing me off for a second there. He got it. He got it together. The Great White Hope. Eden King stands alone. Not alone. Go hit him! <laughs> Let's go. Take out the rest of these ugly bitches. You know, I will give it to Rohan. They lasted through the night. I honestly didn't think they were going to see Dawn, but they sure shit did. <laughs> they held on. I will give it to Rohan for lasting as long as they did. Like Gandalf's triumphant return. This is a true return. Can you imagine if Gandalf appeared now at this point in the movie? You realized he was still kicking? Well, he was here. Well, he was now here. Stomp their shits out. Yet you none pissed off the trees, and they're supposed to be peaceful creatures. <gasps> oh my god, that is so awful! You know, I can't say that. I was talking about burning them bitches down too. Okay, maybe I can't criticize. <laughs> Though, I'm glad to know my plan would have worked. <laughs> Frodo don't look right, y'all. Frodo looking like a dark-minded twink. Somebody, please. Where are you going? Sam, you need you needed to grab him, Sam. Frodo, what are you doing? Oh no 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 no! Look at Sam, number one V. Oh, there you go, Fairnir. Don't you know you're Sam? Sam, you need to take that damn ring, Fro Frodo. How did Bilbo can hang on to that damn thing for as long as he did? I mean, granted, Sauron wasn't this. back in the world at the time, so I would imagine the pull is stronger on Frodo than it was on Bilbo when... <sighs> Shit. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. 
Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something, even if you were too small to understand why. Had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? Each other. There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. Well, y'all are good, so each other too. And it's worth fighting for. Oh, Sam. I think at last we understand one another, Frodo Baggins. If you let them go, your life will be forfeit. And it is forfeit. Release them. You you can go with them. Don't don't stay here and end up dead. <laughs> Tree's about to stomp their shits out. Stomp on them. <laughs> the bloodbath in there. <laughs> and their fertilizer is gonna be their blood at this point. <laughs> Y'all two need to keep it cute. Miss ma'am, you good back there? You panting? Are you hot? It's 40 degrees. It says long bottom leaf. Oh my goodness. So we will smoke that shit up tonight. <laughs> oh. They smell that shit? He said, who getting high in here? <laughs> it's like, is that my cousin I'm smelling? <laughs> Master betrayed us. The fat of it. He knows. Oh, he's always watching. Y'all, if Gollum kills Sam. Smeagol? We could let her do it. Who's her? Come on, hobbits! Long ways to go yet. Sneagle will show you the way. Follow me. Oh, we're gonna have to put Gollum down. Sorry, Smeagol. Who the hell is she? Good lord, Mordor. Why your shit look kind of, Why you kind of look so evil? Why can't evil people just be normal? What's kind of look this evil for? Oh, and it's over just like that. Shit. Y'all just had to... <sighs> Smeagol fought so hard. He fought so hard to tell Gollum to know his place. And then... Faranir and all of them had to just... Screw that up. And now they're taking... Well, I don't know who... I don't know where Gollum is... He said she. Let she kill them. But who's she? I can't, I don't know if she, we've met she. We probably haven't yet, but... Ah, oh, damn. And I'm telling you right now. I feel bad for Gollum. There's something so pathetic to him. So sweet, so pathetic. But let me tell you something right now. If he kills Sam, or whoever touches Sam, if something happens to Sam, he's the one character I do not want anyone touching. If anything happens to Sam, they are on my shit list forever. If this story ends with Sam dead, it's a wrap. I, 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 the Lord, Lord of the Rings is, is like touted as a masterpiece, but let me tell you something, if Sam dies, it will be one less notch from masterpiece it'll be it'll like drop a rung for me sam needs to not be touched take frodo instead i love you fro i i really do love you i'd rather no one get touched but if one of the hobbits must hobbity hop to heaven i'd rather it be frodo than sam is that wrong yes it's very wrong to say that but it's where i stand I need him to be okay. And this movie in general was very... Sam, I think for me, was the standout. He had such a beautiful speech about how no matter how dark things get, the sun is going to rise, the oceans are going to flow. It was such a beautiful 
the lesson about life in general. Just, I adore Sam. I need Sam not to die. This movie in general just felt like it was filled with a lot of uplifting moments. The trees. <laughs> as much as I dragged them trees for taking so long, I think they really were a beacon of hope. Seeing the forest, it, it's it's like an analogy for the, the forest and, and they're taking back their land in a way they're fighting for them the earth mother earth <laughs> like they're fighting to protect it and keep it while sodomon has just been from the first movie I, I spoke about it during the reaction like when gandalf first went to see sodomon you saw all of the greenery around that place and in the first movie he does start destroying all of that and cutting down the trees and destroying everything around that place to build this this factory of 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 orcs like creating orcs just just pushing them out and and popping out like like his his little army that we saw in this movie and seeing the truth like i i wonder if mary knew what he was or was it pippin i think it was pippin who told him to go south and i don't think he he did it on purpose because i don't think he knew what it looked like out there i don't so i don't think it was something calculated it was just a belief that they wouldn't be spotted if they went south i'm not sure I mean, i'm gonna say he he had a feeling that if they went that way <laughs> you would get the trees to fight along with him you'd get ent to join in the ent moot to join in with them and it worked like like pippin's plan to to I, like i said i i'm gonna choose to believe he knew what he was doing <laughs> it wasn't just accidental he knew that if the trees saw their home well not their home but like their family their people destroyed it would galvanize them to fight and take action which they sure shit did. They stomped them orcs out in that forest up there. And speaking of that fight scene, Aragorn. Oh, Aragorn, you just, he, he, I, there's no words for his valor. Like, I, that's one thing I will say this movie is not short of. Very brave individuals. It's just, it's, you have characters who start off frustrating you, but then they have their moments where they, they're able to step up. And there's something very realistic to that. Like at first, you're, you, it's like they haven't gone through it enough. They haven't punched through that character. Like you, it's like all character building and then they have their moment. Like the king, the king frustrated the shit out of me, but then he had his moment on horseback when he rode out. It's like, you redeemed yourself, a king. <laughs> Like you have those moments with with pretty much I'm gonna say every character but a lot of these characters that come in where they come off as cowardly and then they just have their their grand moment where they're able to be brave and really step into the narrative at and 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 shift it. Now Frodo and Sam Frodo's going through it like <sighs> Frodo is fighting, he's struggling, he's really doing his best his absolute best to hold this ring and 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 complete the task that he has been as as he's been I'm going to I was going to say given and it was given but he does reclaim it when there's an opportunity for it to to go off to someone else but he takes that that responsibility on because no one at that meeting could really get their shit together and so he had to kind of step up and take it on and it's just, it's heartbreaking to see Frodo kind of struggle, especially considering you know how good he is, but this damn ring is like changing his personality and how he interacts with Sam. And, and, and it's, you want Frodo to be able to get to the other side of it, but I honestly, I think in the next, I don't see Frodo like holding on for much longer. And then you have, I got Gollum just, I don't know who she is, where he's taking them to she to kill them off. And I'm like, hopefully whatever happens, I hope Sam doesn't get hurt. And I hope Frodo doesn't give in to the ring. But I don't know. Frodo's struggling. At this point, I do wonder if Sam would be the best option to take over. I wonder if that's possible where two people can like 
be holders of the ring, like protectors of it. Like, don't just keep it all to Frodo because it's wearing hard on him. I wonder if Sam could also be able to bear the weight of it because he's been around it as much as anyone at this point. And I haven't seen any ounce of temptation in Sam. He's just truly, that moment when, last movie, when he went into the water and almost drowned trying to save him. And then again, when he saved him, when he was about to offer up the ring to the wraith. And there's just so many moments of Sam's valor that shines through without temptation, without conditions. And that moment where, was it Aragorn who told uh, Gandalf that Sam went with him. I believe it was him and the way Gandalf smiled and was happy that that Sam went with him and it's like yes he's keeping his promise to you like he thinks you're dead and I hope you know they all get a chance to see him once more but to me Sam has been the heart of this movie of these movies. Is that just me who feels like Sam lies Gamji? Gim is it Gamji or Gimji? I think it's Gamji. Has really been the heart and soul of Lord of the Rings for me. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but he has been to, I mean, Frodo is a close second, but Sam has just, it's his, it's his, cons it's his constant support of Frodo. It's the stepping up in those moments where you would rather not step up, but you're going to step him anyway for because you just you I don't want to say it's because he's fearless I, I I hate to bring this up but in Game of Thrones it's very much like that line that in the show it's Rob who's having a conversation with Talisa but in the books it's in branch chapters and Bran is asking his dad it's 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 a conversation between Bran and Ned where he brings up how can someone be brave if they're afraid and he's like that's the only time anyone can be brave and it's a conversation between Bran and Ned I know in the show they made it have Rob retell that in a conversation with Talisa but that's what I feel like with Sam it's not like he's without fear it's not like he's without doubt it's just he has the strength and the motivation and the belief to overcome that fear and that's bravery and I, I do think that line was it was what I really resonates with me in regards to Sam I swear to god if anything happens to Sam Gandalf Gandalf is kicking <laughs> he's alive and well <laughs> listen that opening fight scene of him in the in the like when he's falling and he's fighting the this this what is it I forgot what it's called so the G or an O, I, I don't remember, but when he's fighting that Belrog, right? It's called a Belrog? When he's fighting that thing, I'm like, this old man is a badass. I'm like, holy shit, Gandalf is, he's really giving it to this damn, I don't know what the hell that, what is it? Like a, like a, I want to call it, I don't know if you ever played Final Fantasy, but there's a summons, I believe it, I, can't, I haven't played Final Fantasy in so long. Is it, is it? Behemut or Baal? I forgot the name of the... If you know what I'm talking about, there is a summons in Final Fantasy that reminds me of that Belrog. Or would he remind me more of Ifrit? Because Ifrit was covered in fire. Hmm. But if you, you get what I'm saying, if you know Final Fantasy and you play the game and you know the summons, I definitely get like, he reminds me of one of the summons that you have the option to bring forth in a fight. But seeing Gandalf go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that thing, it's like, you really get a good scope of Gandalf's power and his strength. And I'm like, holy shit, I never thought he was that powerful. So going forward, I hope he's really involved in the, the next movie, the last movie, where in, in, I don't know if we'll ever really see, um, Sauron. Like, I, we haven't seen him yet because he's not, he hasn't been like, brought forth yet but but no they said Aragorn is like his greatest weakness I wanted to see Gandalf and him square off but hearing that Aragorn Aragorn is his his weakness is like his greatest threat maybe not so much but I, given how strong Gandalf is I'm pretty sure he'll play a huge role in the third movie as well but I'm glad he's not dead 
I just want him and Frodo. I think that's one of my hopes next movie. Sam doesn't die. Frodo gets to go back home to the Shire. Same thing with Sam and his little salt in his, I'm telling you, Sam reminds me of people, of black people who keep hot sauce in their bags or like seasoning in their bags. Like is, there's no need for that. Like <laughs> leave the seasoning and the hot sauce at home. Hot sauce. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Sam and Frodo, Merry and Pippin as well, all need to go home back to the Shire and live a nice life. A nice, comfortable, sweet life. None of them needs to die. Aragorn and Arwen. Now, I do think there were some vibes going all throughout this movie between Aragorn and Elowin. But honey, honey, I felt there were moments where I felt for you because this man is dreaming, dreaming every night of Arwen. So I, that's also what I want. I want them to be together in the end. I want my little hobbits to go home back to the Shire. I don't want the Shire to stay safe, not destroyed. Um, Gollum. Gollum is another interesting character. What do I want for? I want. I want Smeagol to find peace. <laughs> I want the little thing to find peace. Okay, he's clearly a tortured little creature, and I just want him to find some kind of peace. Oh my goodness, but going to the next movie, just just keep Sam alive. Sam alive and Sam and Frodo, all the hobbits, just make sure they get home to the Shire. That's really, that's what I would want. Whatever else happens, fine, fine, I'll live with it, but the hobbits need to go home and be safe. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, leave your comments below and subscribe and I will see you all in the next movie. Take care, everyone. And a special shout out to the patrons, Midgey, Jenny, Tawny, See-Through Battle Monsters, Tyler, Juan, Beetle, Freddy, Marcella, Gabrielle, Alicia, Carmdoll, Sushi, Senpai, Cozy, Crobo, Gazelle, Maddie, Victoria, Queen Lydia, Dexter, Chair, Shark, Cat, That Weird Person, Shirley, Salty, Cami, Wanyo, JK, Klaus, Cersei, Kacha, Mino, Christina, Donovan, Haley, Nicole, Lauren, Sayla, Kayan, D, Nathan, Casey, Liam, Pierre, Glitchy Glam, Autumn, Erica, Soapy, Ivy, Morgan, Jordan, Zach, Nandy, Jess, Alexander, Reen, Max, Ricky, Jake, Isabella, Amario, Jamie, Jesse, Mate, Jalil, Melissa, Teddy, Sebastian, Megan, Ann Van, Crystal, Chansey, Soul, Jacob, Rosa, Aslan, Jordan, Cool Gal, Nan, Brat P, Bobo, Lucas, Maria, Ashlyn, Alex, Mads, Vivisha, Karen, Noah, Bree, Jackie, Sammy, Alexander, N, Erica, Ava, Julie vs. Chael, JD, Jacob, Sarah, Joyce, Melissa, Kara, Michaela, Christine, Noel, Oog, James, Valerie, Julia, Oliver, Sam, Michael, Mr. Nobody, Jamie H, RR Green, Harper, Miss CJ, Caitlin, Natalia, Velasquez, Psych J, Ethan, Miko, Emma, Sam, Lena, J, R. Fienway, Melanie, Brenda, Nate, Becky, Courtney, Asante, Beef, Jerky Wizard, Mel, Matthew, Nell, Ted, Feli, Axel, Diego, Cintina Moore, Cup of Tea Queen, Adrenic, Marina, Hunter, Drenax, Matthew, Michael, Jan, Lachey, Chase, Marty, The Winter Times, Janny, Zach, Dominic, Asher, Mazin, Wendy, Ash, Valerio, Zachary, David, Thomas, Monique, Kage, Abby, Leon, Half Mayan, Darren, King, Batty Boy, Jean, Nathaniel, Anna, Greg, Kevin, Dennis, Rachel, Karen, Christian, Jim, Rob, Keen, Pent, Danny, Jason, Marcus, Omar, Randy, Kuehler, Anne, Dwayne, Logan, and Sarah. Thank you all so much. Take care, everyone.